Good morning, traders. In this video, we're going to go over the results of my small cap market open test trading so far. We started on uh, September 15th and we're using a trading plan that I've written. This is just the beginning of it here. That is an attempt to combat the notorious nature of small cap stocks of being unreliable and untradable or difficult to trade. So I have very specific criteria that I use to screen the stocks and to check them on the chart before I'm allowed to take an entry. So we're testing this thing out to 100 trades with one single share on each trade with real money, but only one single share so that even if this thing blows up in our face, doesn't work, we're not going to be putting the account at a lot of risk. So uh, we are just under a month into it right now and i'm just taking three trades per day maximum so i'm going to scroll to the right here so you can see each trade that i've recorded there's trade three and then at the end i record some notes about the uh the trade and then i'm a little behind here on this executed the plan but they have all been executed the plan so far I just need to update the uh kind of yes or no column there so there is one i guess one exception here where um on the fifth, I missed the first entry and I went over that in that recap video. So you can check that out if you wanna see what happened there on October 5th with BITF. There was a entry that was given to me right at the beginning and that's why it's kind of, uh, well, it was marked out here in blue and I've messed it up, I guess. I need to fix that up a little bit, but I did record that as a losing trade even though I didn't actually trade it. So that's because that entry did meet all of my plan criteria and I just missed the entry. And then I took the next one, which I would have done anyway by the plan. And I did make a 2R trade on that. It did not go to 3R. So that's why you see this little red over here. But right now I'm just holding each trade till 2R, which means two times the risk. So I calculate the risk. You, you'll understand all of this if you watch my daily recap videos. I calculate the risk based on my entry and where my stop loss is. And then my profit target is two times that risk. That way, one winner knocks out two losers. So let's scroll down here and we'll see the results so far of this trading. Right now, we are still slightly uh, below break even. We're at minus two times our risk. If we would be holding the three R, believe it or not, we'd actually be minus six times our risk. In the beginning, uh, the three R was beating the two R, but now uh, things have changed. And the total cost of this test, we've already taken, I believe, uh, 26 or 27 trades now. Let's see, 26 trades. So the total cost of this test is actually not costing us anything. We're actually up one cent. I know, no big deal there. But the point I'm trying to make here is I've been able to trade for the past three weeks, three trades every single day without doing damage to the account with a plan that is not proven yet. So if you're a new trader and you're trying to figure out if what you're doing really works or not, I strongly suggest making a strict plan to follow and then test trading it with one single share. That way, if you don't, if it doesn't work, you're not gonna be freaked out about all the money that you went through on your account and have to stop trading before you even gave yourself a chance of being a successful trader. So that's really, you know, the other point behind doing this is not just to see if this plan is profitable or not, but to show you guys that you can get out there and start day trading. If that's what you wanna do, if that's what you wanna try, you can start day trading without putting your entire account at risk and without paper trading. You should do a little bit of paper trading in the beginning for sure, but the longer you paper trade, uh, it starts to have, I think, um, uh, a negative effect on your trading and your trader psychology because you're not getting the effect of trading with real money and it may boost your confidence artificially so it's very important to to once you get the basics down of day trading through paper trading to switch to trading with real money with a cash account with one single share i really think that is the way to go so um last let's see lastly as i said we've taken 26 trades we are slightly above break even here um as far as our overall win rate is concerned so this should, there was a reason I can't remember off the top of my head why this should be zero, but it's not um, maybe because of some of those mistake trades. I'll have to go through that later and figure that out. But anyway, we've won nine out of 26 trades. So our win rate is slightly above break even. The break even win rate is 33%. And there may be an error there, but this I know is correct. I know we are just below break even overall on this plan so far, but 
it's so early in this plan. We have to take this to 100 trades that it's you cannot say that, okay, there's no way that this is going to work out at this point. You just don't know it because any good trading plan will have ebbs and flows. You will have uh, red weeks, red months, maybe even sometimes. So you really do need to take at least 100 trades of a trading plan uh, before you decide whether or not it has any chance of being profitable or not. And then I'm also tracking the statistics for uh, how often each trade works. You can see trade one is pretty low and then trade two and trade three are both winning 50% of the time. So that's pretty encouraging there. Something similar happened on our mid cap test. That's without trade one. Let's see. So here's our mid cap test results. We did 100 trades uh, with the mid caps and you can see that a kind of a similar thing occurred there and I adjusted um, the plan to not take this trade to only take the second and third and then an additional trade if needed and i was able to simulate that just by simply removing that first trade off of the spreadsheet and the results then were up 13 r after 57 trades by removing that trade number one so something similar may need to happen here on the small cap test at the end of it. Uh, I did try to foresee that coming into the small cap test and make that first trade entry uh, a little bit more, uh, just more requirements needed to be met on the chart before I take a trade uh, in this plan versus the original mid cap plan. But still, uh, trade number one is uh, the lowest entry trade. So there may need to be more adjustment there at the end of this plan. So either way, we're going to uh, keep doing what we're doing here. It's not costing us anything and we're learning valuable data. We're learning about this plan. We're learning about the markets. We're learning about ourselves. We're developing trading discipline, all that kind of stuff. So this is really good stuff. This is not a waste of time. And you could argue, well, you know, you're just trading one single share. There's absolutely no way you could be making money doing that. And of course that is true. But if I was trading full position size right now, there's a very strong chance that I would be losing a lot of money. So there's no reason to put that at risk until you have proven the plan profitable. So anyway, hopefully this was helpful to you. I'm going to continue this plan throughout the following week and we'll see what happens then. Take care.